नमस्कार मित्रों स्टेट बोर्ड परीक्षेत नुकतच तुम्हें आता बाहर पड़त आम्हाला आता एम एस टी सी टी या परीक्षे की तैयारी कराएगी है विशेषतः केमेस्ट्री या विषया की तैयारी करता ऑर्गेनिक सेक्शन बयाच वे अड़चणी का ठरतो बयाच वेला मुला बोलने मधुन ये अवगड़ का ही नसते मनाला कुछ तरी मन तो अवगड़ है सोपा है अभ्यास तुम्हें मनापास लगला तो सग सोप सोप हो आज तुम्हारा एक वीडियो या पद्धति अपलोड करते कि जे एम सी क्यूज आना है ते एम सी क्यूज ये सी ई टी परीक्षे उपयोगी पड़ने हैं यूर्वी जाए जे का प्रश्न आना है साराव तुम्हारा वहावा प्रश्न च स्वरूप कड़ाव मनु तुम्हारा वीडियो मध्यम दी है तो प्रश्न नीट पहा स्पष्टीकरण दिल है और नेमक उत्तर कस शोधा या गोष्टी का अपन वहापोहत्या वीडियो में के फायदा तुम्हारा निश्चित हो तो तुम्हें तो फायदा तुम्हें कर नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग एन ओर इन टू इट्स ऑक्साइड बाय हीटिंग इन ए करंट ऑफ एयर इज कॉल्ड फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन वन इज अ लिचिंग सेकेंड इज अ रोस्टिंग थर्ड वन इज अ स्मेल्टिंग एंड लास्ट वन इज अ रिफाइनिंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम ट्रांजिशन एंड इनर ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट ऑन पेज वन सेवी एट तो इत तुम्हार लक्षा मध्य कि आउट ऑफ फोर ऑप्शन द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी दैट इज द रोस्टिंग सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम केमिकल थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स पेज एटी सेवन दिस इज न्यूमरिकल सिक्स पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फोर ग्राम ऑफ इथेनॉल आर वेपोराइज By supplying 5.89 kilojoule of heat, the enthalpy of vaporization of ethanol will be. Here four options are given, but in uh, same uh, detail information is given here. 6.24 gram of ethanol corresponds to 5.89 kilojoule per mole of heat. so you have to calculate the molecular weight of ethanol that is the 46 so 2.64 gram corresponds to 5.89 kJ so 46 gram corresponds to how much so it comes 43.4 kJ per mole this is the correct answer option of this question <laughs> next question from solid state page number 23 24 an n type and p type silicon can be obtained by doping pure silicon with na and mg respectively p that is the phosphorus and boron respectively boron and phosphorus respectively iron and sodium respectively so out of this correct answer option is a b that is b phosphorus and boron so phosphorus when small amount of uh, phosphorus is added to uh, pure silicon it has a five valence electron so one electron is a extra so there is a formation of n type of semiconductor and when small amount of boron is added it has a only three electron so it creates a hole which acts as a positively charged so p type of semiconductor is uh, obtained so b is the correct answer option next which one of the following is the weakest base ammonia benzyl amine aniline methyl amine this question is from chapter amines on page number 288 and 290 ammonia you know that nh3 this nitrogen has a lone pair of electron benzyl amine benzyl amine this is the structure of benzene and uh, outside the benzene there is a ch2 nh2 so nitrogen has again lone pair of electron methyl amine ch3 nh2 nitrogen has lone pair and aniline is a nh2 group that is the nh2 group is attached to benzene ring n h2 so out of this four 
you have to find out the weakest base means the lone pair of electron which is not a uh, lone pair present on nitrogen is not available for or not easily available for the protonation here in methyl amine cs3 group is electron donating so this lone pair of electron is easily available in benzyl amine also uh, this nh2 group is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atom so this lone pair of electron can easily be obtained for protonation in ammonia three hydrogens they are not electron withdrawing or electron donating so this lone pair of electron can also be easily available for protonation but in aniline the lone pair of electron present on nitrogen is given to the benzene ring so it is a delocalized electron and so it is not available for the protonation so correct answer option of this question is a aniline which is the weakest base among the given next from introduction to polymer chemistry which one is incorrectly matched here four options are given but out of four options one option uh, you have to find out the one option which is not correctly matched now see 2 methyl 13 butadiene natural rubber nylon 26 that is nylon 2 nylon 6 biodegradable polymer polyacrylonitrile copolymer and 2 chloro 13 butadiene synthetic rubber so here poly uh, this one is a natural rubber nylon 2 and 6 biodegradable polymer 2 chloro 13 butadiene is a synthetic rubber but here polo uh, polyacrylonitrile is a homo polymer or it is a addition polymer so this is the correct answer option which is not correctly matched next one from halogen derivatives on page 220 which one is incorrectly matched when an alkyl halide that is rx is a heated with the following reagents you are given reagent in one column and products in least second a silver carboxylate with alkyl halide gives an ester silver cyanide with alkyl halide gives cyanides potassium nitride gives nitrite and silver nitride gives nitro alkane so you have to find out the uh, one option which is not correctly matched here you know that silver cyanide az uh, az cn this az carbon bond is a covalent bond so nitrogen linkage is obtained through nitrogen not carbon and so here this pair is not correctly matched here isocyanides or isonitriles are formed next from elements of group 16 17 and 18 page 140 which of the following inert gases has the highest ionization enthalpy helium neon argon krypton as you know that they as we move from top to bottom the atomic size goes on increasing and uh, what is uh, ionization enthalpy the amount of energy is required to remove an electron but you know that all these elements have a stable electronic configuration but as atomic size increases it becomes easy to remove an electron so a uh, low amount of or lower energy is required we can say that so helium is the correct answer option it has the highest ionization enthalpy next the number of non bonding electrons on each sulfur atom in s s8 molecule r this question is also Uh, is uh, again from the same that is elements of group 16 17 and 18 page 147 you are given options 2 4 6 8 uh, here the answer is answer kya asna re 4 because sulfur it belongs to group 16 so there are six valence electrons correct 
but each sulfur atom in s in acet molecule forms two bonds with two sulfur atom so each sulfur in a, in acet molecule each sulfur is bonded to two other sulfur atoms so here two uh, six electrons are present in valence cell but out of six electrons two electrons are used in the bond formation with two sulfur atoms so four electrons are left behind four electrons means two lone pair of electrons but here what is asked non bonding electrons non bonding electrons so in all there are four non bonding electrons so correct answer option of this question is a four see this is the structure je ya paddhatichcha structure asnara ahe next from solutions which of the following shows negative deviation from raoult's law page number 33 a toluene and benzene b benzene and phenol c acetone and chloroform d benzene and carbon tetra chloride so here the correct answer option of this question is a c that is acetone and chloroform so there is a formation of hydrogen bond between solute and solvent so this interaction is very very strong as compared to uh, sol solvent solvent and solute solute so here what happens see there is a formation of hydrogen bonding between acetone and chloroform due to which the vapor pressure of solution Uh, lowers means becomes less than the expected by raoult's law so it shows negative deviation next from ionic equilibria page 55 ammonium fluoride is a salt of strong acid strong base strong acid weak base weak acid weak base weak acid and strong base nh4 f so it is the salt of weak acid hf and weak base nh4oh so it is a salt of weak acid hf and weak base nh4oh so weak acid and weak base c is the correct answer option next one c22 minus has the same magnetic property with O two, N two plus, O two plus, N O plus. This question is from chemical bonding. Now you have to calculate the number of electrons in C two two minus. You know that there are six electrons in carbon atom, so six plus six is equal to twelve. But it has two minus charge, so two electrons are gained. So, twelve plus two is equal to fourteen. So here total electrons sixteen. Here one positive charge. So one electron is lost. So fourteen minus one. So there are thirteen electrons. In case of uh, O two plus, there is again loss of one electron. So sixteen minus one. in all there are 15 electrons and in case of no plus nitrogen 7 oxygen 8 it has a positive charge one positive charge so there is a loss of one electron so total 14 electrons so correct answer option of this question is a no plus but here what is asked a magnetic property whether c22 minus is a, a diamagnetic or paramagnetic now see this is the molecular orbital diagram of nitrogen because it has a 14 electrons n2 you can use this molecular orbital diagram when the species has electrons equal to 14 or less than 14 here total 14 uh, yellow color indicates the anti bonding orbitals or electrons two To four plus six plus eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. All electrons are paired, so it shows a diamagnetic property. 
करेक्ट नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन टी टू टी टू जी एंड ईजी ऑर्बिटल्स इन एन आई एफ सिक्स टू माइनस कॉम्प्लेक्स आर हेर ऑप्शन आर गिवन हियर यू हेव टू कैलकुलेट द फर्स्ट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ एन आई इन गिवन कॉम्प्लेक्स एक्स माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस फोर सो दिस प्लस फोर शोज द हाइयर पॉजिटिव ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट एंड इन सच केसेस द लिगेंट्स विच आर अटैच टू द मेटल आय दे आर स्ट्रांगली बाउंड हियर फ्लोरिन नो डाउट इट इज अ वीक फील्ड लिगेंट सो हाई स्पीन कॉम्प्लेक्स इज ऑब्जर्व बट हियर एन आय has a higher positive oxidation state and that's why if though it is a weak field ligand it acts as a strong field ligand and so see here this is the splitting of a d orbital in presence of a weak field but which acts as a strong field ligand in case of this complex so there is a splitting of t2g and eg when strong field ligand is attached to the metal having the higher positive charge then acts as a uh, then there is a low spin is observed means pairing of electron takes place now you have to calculate the number of electrons in d orbital of ni plus 4 you know that the atomic number of ni is a 28 so means there are d 8 3d 8 electrons and 4s 2 electrons so there is a loss of 4 electrons 2 electrons from s orbital and 2 electrons from d orbital so 6 electrons are left so 1 2 3 4 5 6 mean t2g there are 2 2 2 and in eg 0 0 means in t2g there are six electrons and in case of eg there is a zero electrons this is very important so correct answer option is a b next and this is the last question of this video which of the following is a non aromatic compound non aromatic compound means first of all you should know the what are the condition conditions of aromatic city so here there are two bonds there is a conjugate system double bond single bond double bond single bond but there are four pi electrons only four pi electrons so this is an example of anti aromatic here One, two, three, four, and five double bond. So there are ten pi electrons. So this is an example of aromatic. <clears throat> Here there are two bonds in cycle. That is the indo cyclic two. Means in all there are four pi electrons. Two, two, and here outside the ring. the pi electrons they are not involved in the aromatic city so this is an example where it is non aromatic and in this case oxygen has a two lone pairs out of this two lone pairs one lone pair of electron is used so there are 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 pi electrons so this is an example of aromatic so this one uh, sorry this one is a non aromatic dhanyawad